But first, we watched Monday Night Raw, Season 2, Episode 3, January 17th, 1994. We had the video recap from last week. Marty Jannetty and the 1 2 3 kid thought they won the tag team titles. And then it turns out they really did win the tag team titles. They are, as Raw is going on, and I don't actually know if this Raw was live or not, but we were told uh, head to head with Raw was a house show at Madison Square Garden where they were doing the tag title rematch between the kid, kid and Jannetty and the Quebecers. I'm thinking, well, they're going to like splice in shots of the finish or something. Oh, naive young Vincent. Thinking we, <laughs> what we got was Stan Lane, sweet Stan Lane, at the building, calling in on a telephone, probably a payphone in 1994, to tell us what happened. And now it's not big, a... My our, big question... Yes, go ahead. My big question is, do you think the Madison Square Garden show was actually on the Monday? I'm I, they had no. to get the titles back to um, the Quebecers for the Rumble. You figure it was probably like a Saturday or a Sunday house show, but they wanted to make it seem like a, a hook to the show to find out if the belts change? I that's a, would. That's interesting because obviously New York is their biggest market, so if uh, if they weren't running Monday night, the people that were watching – raw would call bs because yeah they would obviously know but i don't know it's it's very strange stranger things have happened i would guess there actually was an msg show the same night as this raw i don't know if this raw was live i didn't check that and i don't know if they actually synced it up so the tag title match was going on while raw was airing to the folks at home i don't think they bothered to do all that but i would i would guess that the uh, show on Madison Square Garden actually was on Monday, but uh, as I said, strange things have happened. So we have Randy Savage is in a match on this show. So we our latest name to put his hat into the rotating cast of commentators. God help me, Crush. No one is ever allowed to complain about current day commentary ever again. Yeah. So this was Crush is there. He's got his face paint. He's got his mullet. He's got his plaid shirt with the sleeves torn off, so he knew he worked a lot of time in Portland. Mm -hmm. And uh, his arch enemy, the Macho Man, is a match tonight against IRS. That's why he's here. And uh, he says he's going to... He, he, Macho Man's a hothead. He's a professional. He's just there to call the action, brudda. So if you were to do a drinking game and one of you had Hulk Hogan and the other one of you had Crush, I'm sorry to say, if you had Crush, you would be hammered quickly. <laughs> yes. Did anybody else notice that other than when he said Brutta, his Hawaiian accent didn't really sound all that Hawaiian? No, it seemed he's... to morph into like New York wise guy or something every once in a while. Yeah, and he's around the world and stuff. So, yeah, but uh, it's. So I, I watched this promo and then I started watching the next match that's coming up here. And at the seven minute point in the show, I had to stop everything and go back and start over because I had to do a Brutta counter. Oh How God. many times does Crush actually say Brutta in each segment and then over the course of the show? So uh, by the end of this promo here, uh, I believe Crush used the word Brutta five times. Now, I, I will clarify, some of the, there may be some overlap there between the, the, uh, set, the promo and the ensuing match, but the total will be the same. Uh, I'm not, I, I, I kind of confused myself there, but I believe in the promo he said five Bruttas. Before introducing the first match, Owen Hart versus Stone Cold Terry Austin. I'm kidding. It was not Stone Cold. It was Terry Austin, who actually looked like a copy of 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 Adrian Adonis. Just Interesting. a flabby guy with a mullet and not one one hundredth of Adrian Adonis' talent. Although he did have powder blue knee pads and boots. A, yeah. That was a bold choice. I was, I and, the, and black trunks. And black trunks. It was, yeah. And, and somehow managed to take a really fantastic, great backdrop, yeah. but took a monkey flip and drove his head straight into the floor. And he took the very first thing they do is like, it's like, it's like push off, tackle, reverse monkey flip. And that reverse monkey flip, you're supposed to rotate, whether that be 270 degrees, he might have made it 90. And he he just, just spiked his own head into the ground. I hollered. I hollered out loud. Ah! I said... He seemed to survive. And the funny thing is, the next spot is Austin will go for the reverse monkey flip, but Owen just throws in the brakes and drops a knee. 
Yeah. And I'm sure that's the way they had it planned. But watch it live. It's just like going, going, no way I'm putting my body in this man's hands. I don't, or his feet. I don't trust this guy at all. I'll just drop my knee in his head. He also had a beautiful, beautiful feathered mullet. And he had uh, th- the gray in front like Brian used to have before his salon opened back open. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was, it was a tremendous look on this man. He was, he was uh, that, I guess he was a veteran then. I guess he was not new. Really, except for that one reverse monkey for the baby. Everything else, he was fine. Uh, let's see. Um, Stan Lane calls in. Our first report from Sweet Stan. He lets us know the teams are warming up for their match. And one, two, three, Kid and Marty Jannetty have a fire in their eyes. So, eventually, Owen is a missile dropkick, which is the point I realized this ring was a marble slab with a canvas <laughs> on top of it. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he fell from really high, and that ring didn't move at all. And Owen, I, I, we, we skipped over something very important here. The Brothers Heart, as Vince called them, the Brothers Heart have a match against the Quebecers at the Royal Rumble on uh, Sunday after this. This is the go-home show. Right. Uh, so, they're a team here. Owen came out with Brett. Side by side for, I guess, the last time until the Part Foundation reunited in 97. But uh, he, while they were together, Owen was being a very, very over the top, exuberant babyface. He had a babyface fire cranked up to about 12. And he hits this missile dropkick and he starts throwing a giant party. And then eventually he goes to the formality of applying, of, of applying the sharpshooter and winning. So, uh, yes, Owen Hart beats Terry Austin. Craig, your thoughts? I, there wasn't much of a match. I, the, the The real story came after when they were doing the promo. Yes. I counted 11 brudas in that match, by the way. Wow. <laughs> so we're up to 16? 16 brudas, approximately nine minutes into the show. Okay. Vince interviews the brother's heart. So here's his question. Right now, as we speak... Marty Jannetty and the 123 Kid are defending their tag titles against the Quebecers. Should the Quebecers win, that means the Brothers Heart will then get a title match against the Quebecers at the Royal Rumble. Whereas if Kid and Jannetty win, the Brothers Heart will have a match, I guess a top contenders match. Mm-hmm. So the, the, but no, no champions will be involved. So Vince asks Owen, who do you want to win the tag match tonight? And Owen says, I don't want to take anything away from the 123 Kid and Marty Jannetty. But winning those tag team titles was a huge opportunity for me and for Brett, too. I'm looking forward to fighting the Quebecers either way. I just hope those titles are on the line. And so Vince asks Brett the same question, who do you want to win? And Vince says he's very impressed with the champions. They've had a great reign, he says, and they're seven days as champion. And he's very impressed with them and... Not impressed with the Quebecers. He can't imagine cheering for the Quebecers under any circumstances. And Owen is crestfallen. Brett doesn't want to win the titles with him. Brett is sure that somewhere down the line, Kid and Janae will give them a shot when they what earn it. What part do you love about this job, Granny? Nothing. When you, when you irritate me? <laughs> you make me mad? I, I guess seeing, seeing you guys. When you needle me? Quit yeah. talking over me. Sorry. If Granny, this person asks... Could leave only one thing in her will for Brian. <laughs> <laughs> what would it be? Rufus versus Roman Reigns. 2016. Rufus, Rufus on barricade. Rufus comes back. Drops Reigns on the top rope. Rufus has a temper tantrum because only two count. Do you know that we put a clip of you on the internet last week? And these people on the internet are so dumb that they thought that we hired an actor to play you. No. Mm-hmm. Ah, eh, forget yeah. about it. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.